Hello dear students wish you a pink morning welcome you all to english literature class today we'll do new chapter chapter 8 in the adventures of huckleberry finn the duke of bridge water so in the last chapter we have a study huckleberry and jim are again united and huckleberry now uh, has seen that granger forts family all the male family have been except that uh, miss sophie have been killed actually in the enemy in the fight with uh, their enemy family shafarsha then huckleberry and jim again both start running from there on their raft now in this chapter you will find uh, you will find that huckleberry and jim find here two rogue person means rogue means wicked person okay one of them claim to be a duke and another claim to be a king of france and now what happens just let's read two so page number this is page number 38 two or three days and night went by so in the river two and uh, three two or three days and night two or three days and night they passed just traveling on their raft now one morning i found canoe okay and cross over to the shore and one morning they find a boat and they take that boat canoe small boat which has a paddle you know very well canoe and they cross over the river and come to the shore come to the land actually from the water i paddled about a mile up a creek now huckleberry again paddles that boat for a mile mile you know One mile means two point five kilometer. You know very well. So Huckleberry again paddles the boat, Miss Canoe, and comes to a creek among the woods. What is creek? Creek actually. See here. a narrow stretch of water narrow stretch of water flowing from from a cove cove this is a small because a narrow stretch of water that is coming into the river from coast so huckleberry comes a uh, uh, paddling is paddling the boat and uh, huckleberry and jim uh, huckleberry uh, comes to that creek means that narrow stretch of water okay is a narrow stretch of water that is coming from that is flowing from the coast one on the land and coming to the river and this is a coast in the wood now and he came there he comes there so that he can get get some berries to eat because they are very hungry you know very well ha can jim so just as i was passing a place where a kind of cow path crossed the creek so he just passing the place you know where the cow actually water is very uh, very little and animals actually can cross the river okay so that creek even he comes at that place so couple of men came tearing up the path so two men suddenly come running okay 
tearing up the path means very uh, running actually tearing up the path running okay so they came uh, the two men actually come we are very hastily come uh, running on the path and they request hakalveri to save their life allow them to board allow them to bo uh, board the boat because they say there are few men they are following them to kill them and there are uh, dogs also okay and they say that they have done nothing okay so say that they had done nothing but men and dogs who are after them after them means be after them means following them as soon as they were aboard i struck out for the river so hakalveri allows them to allow the two men to board the boat board the canoe so i in about 5 or 10 minutes we heard the dogs and when the boat runs for uh, 10 minutes nearly 10 minutes 5 or 10 minutes then the sound of dogs mean dogs barking and the sound of voice of men actually are heard okay they are shouting also means they are actually searching for these two men they seem to stop and hunt around the why they stop at the coast and start searching for these two men hunt around a why hunt around means searching search for hunt around search for then as we got farther farther away all the time we could hardly hear them at all but they are actually boat is means huckleberry and this boat is just uh, sailing in the river so they have come very far and they can now hear no voice at all by the time we struck the river everything was quiet struck the river reach the river you know they are in the creek you know very well that narrow stretch of water that is flowing in in the in from uh, the coast okay so he is there only now he has reached the river struck the river means reach the river the river reach the river reach the river so there everything is silent completely everything was quiet we paddled over to the cotton woods and hit the raft and what safe now hakalveri goes to the cotton woods means the wood wood where there are many cotton trees and he hides Uh, his raft there, and now they feel safe. Now one of these fellows was about seventy or more, with a bald head and grey whiskers. Now this description of those two men. One of the men is seventy or more than seventy years old. Okay. He has bald head. Bald head means when there is no hair on the head. That is bald. and he had grey whiskers okay grey whiskers see here grey whiskers grey whiskers means white whiskers actually when someone grows old uh, hair becomes white you know hair becomes grey actually this is called grey in english we say grey not white the man is uh, is uh, 
more than 70 or more than 20 years old you can see now he has actually whiskers mustache so he has actually bushy mustache thick mustache you can see in the picture hey here you can see in the picture he has thick mustache so bushy whiskers he whiskers his clothes are completely uh, clothes are very dirty okay and a torn nature okay shabby means dirty dirty carpet bags and both the persons have a very big carpet bag okay they have a very big uh, bag which has many holes so ratty looking means with holes ratty looking heavy means with holes so the men actually carry a very large carpet bag which have holes and the other man is about 30 years old okay he is also dressed in dirty clothes so after eating food there they sit and start talking and the first thing that comes out that these men were strange these men didn't know each other okay that comes out while talking so do you believe these two men don't know each other they know each other see they are very rogue they are very they are cheat actually now So what got you into trouble? Ask the bald head to the other one. So that bald head, that old person, ask another person that what is the problem? Okay, what the trouble? What is the trouble he get into? He got into. Okay. Then, well, I'd been selling an article to take the tartar off the teeth. now the man the young man answers that actually he was he was selling a thing which can remove remove you know dirt from your teeth from teeth tartar means deposit on teeth tartar dirt on teeth teeth and suddenly what happens when someone when a customer with people or villagers actually someone from uh, from the village buys his product and an outer covering of the teeth also comes out okay enamel means outer covering of teeth enamel outer covering of teeth so when some when a villager actually buys his product and applies on his teeth so not only dirt comes out but the, uh, that covering of teeth also comes out and he stays that night there one in that village and this is then only the problem starts and what's the problem that we'll study in the next class okay hope you have enjoyed this class thank you very much bye bye ciao